Hey everybody, I just wanted to uh, talk for a minute. I went to little Tiffany's Gymnastics first practice today. It was so cute. I have some footage I'll show a little later, or show next. But um, when I sat down under my chair, there was a magazine. And uh, so I picked it up, and it's the uh, O, Oprah magazine um, from, it doesn't really say what the date is on there. Oh, um, November 2009. So I started reading it, and I know that... Uh, you know, there's a lot of controversy in regard to Oprah with some groups of people, which, anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. What I want to talk about is she had a great article in the back, um, and just talking about who she is and what she believes, and and uh, it, it reminded me of what we're doing with the vlog. So I, I know we can't please everybody, but I just wanted to read a couple lines from, from her magazine. She said that uh, what I often know for sure is that we don't even realize who we we're meant to be because we're so busy trying to live out someone else's ideas. But other people and their opinions hold no power in defining our destiny. What has made me successful is the ability to surrender my plans, dreams, and goals to a power that is greater than other people and greater than myself. And she means God. Before making any major moves, I first ask, what would you have me do? Who would you have me be? And then I try to live the answer. And, um, she says also, all my life I have looked to God for guidance. In the early 90s, I started to recognize that I wouldn't survive if I continued to play the TV game my competitors were playing. So, you know, with the Jerry Springers and all those guys at the time, she decided to go a different route and, um, and, and try to do something that was a little more valuable. She said, one day while vacationing in Colorado, I went into the woods to quiet the noise of the world and contemplated my next move. I remember standing among the golden aspens and asking the voice, that had been a comfort for so long, what would you have me do? And uh, the answer came as it had when I was a girl. It said, take the high road. And it says, the decision to listen to this voice against the advice of many of the stations that carried my show is the reason I still have a show. And um, so basically she said she you know, sought God and decided to do what he wanted for her life, not what other people were saying or what their opinions were. And, um, and he has sustained her through all these years. And, and then the, the, another part of the um, magazine, there's an article with people asking her questions. And, and at the very end, the very end sentence, it says, I believe there is a calling for all of us. I know that every human being has value and purpose. The real work of our lives is to become aware and awakened to answer the call. And, and that sums up a lot about what Christy and I are trying to do is show the world that everybody has value. And I know that, you know, we, we don't do the greatest job at it, but... We're trying. We're trying to do something. And, and we feel called to do it. And that's the bottom line. So we're not always going to be appropriate for all of you. We're not always going to say the right thing. We're not always going to be as Christian as we should be. But we're just trying to find value in people and do what God has asked us to do. And that's all any of us can do. So we're not going to try to live our lives for everybody else. And we value your input and your opinions about what we're doing. But we have to do what God wants us to do. And so it's, it's funny that some of you said... You need to take the God out of your, uh, your, your videos. And it's like, that's the whole reason we're doing this. Why would I take out the most important part of, of what we're doing? So, um, which will appeal to some of you and some of you will hate it. But oh well, that's, that's who we are and that's what we're doing. But anyway, I was just inspired by that. I think it's pretty cool that uh, she's decided to do and live her life, you know, the way God has uh, spoken to her to do. And that's what we're trying to do at Burke Life. And um, I just want to give you that. Just, it was cool to sit down and have that magazine there and open it up. And the information, it was inspiring and encouraging to us to read that. And I just wanted to sort of um, let you guys know that that's, that's really what our purpose is, <clears throat> is first and foremost to serve and, and, and answer our call. And, and again, in doing that, finding the value in other people. And that's so important. I think we write people off uh, on a regular basis based on the way they look or the way they sound, or whatever, um, and, and don't place any value on them. And, and that's what we're hopefully doing uh, with all the kids that come to our house, and the homeless, and, and all the things that we're doing in our ministry, um, is we want people to know how valuable and how loved they are. Not because we're great, but we want to share the same love we have that we've been given from God to them, share it to them, so they can experience the same thing. And, and that's hopefully what we capture in some of this. So... Anyway, I'll get off my high horse now, but I just wanted to um, help explain a little bit about why Burke Life, what we're doing, and, um, and, and again, if we're going against the grain, then amen. I don't want to be like everybody else, so um, I'm going a little longer than, longer than I wanted to, but 
uh, we do have fun in our in our videos, but we're not trying to keep up with all the funny videos that are out there. We're under the people and blog section, not the entertainment section. So sometimes they're going to be boring like this one is, but other times they're going to be funny because we're a family of six. Crazy stuff happens all the time. Every day, if we if we could videotape every day the stuff that happens, it would be two hours long every day. Um, so we're going to capture some of that. Um, but we can't please everybody, and we're not trying to. We're just trying to do what God wants us to do. So... Um, Anyway, I hope that answers some of your questions because we're getting some emails and some questions kind of in regard to why are you doing this? What is this? And again, I don't expect you to understand. And I think if everybody understood and everybody got it, then we'd, be, we'd have a problem. So we are doing something that's different. And nobody's doing what we're doing specifically that I know of. So that's the goal. That's the plan. Um, and we're going to continue to do it. Talk to you soon. Tiffany, so we're going to gymnastics. And are you a little scared, you said? Well, let's talk about it. What's what's scary about it? You don't want to talk about it right now? What's scary about it? I don't get to be with Mommy. Oh, you're away from Mommy? That is pretty scary. Is this your first class, or have you taken gymnastics before? First class. Very first class. So she's going to go to her first class at the Y, thanks to Ma. Ma Thank signed her up. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, we Ma. Love you. We love you. But she's a little scared this morning. That's okay. You know, when I was a little kid, I had boys club basketball. And the first, like, two or three games, I was so nervous that I didn't even go. Because I'd get in the car and get ready to go, and I'd be, like, sick to my stomach, so I'd go home. So I know how you feel. But it's okay. You're going to do great. You've already been practicing at home a lot, huh? Hey, Tiffany. Not today, but other days on Saturday. Guess who's going to be there with you? Whitney. Whitney will be doing gymnastics too, but today she's doing, she's babysitting. So anyway, I'm excited for you. We'll get some of the footage when we get there, okay? Is that yeah. what you're for? There's nothing in there. That shows where we are. Yeah, it's, and that it's, shows where we are. Yeah, it's not exactly the same. Tea? Yeah, I like her contest to see who can stand balance the most. <laughs> oh, Tiffany won. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I think she's not afraid anymore. I think she's having fun. Awesomely fun. Are you yes, done? Are you finally done? Or you sell more? Done. Done? Tip. What? What was your favorite part? I'm doing um, the things. The bars? That's your favorite part? Yeah. So are you afraid anymore? Are you not afraid. You're not afraid anymore? You conquered your fear. Stop it. So if you want a copy of God's Word, hit us up. We'll send you it for free.